Well, welcome to today's video. We are here at the customer's house to replace a inline water filter. So right now we're about to go under the house and take a peek at uh, his current situation and why we are here to replace it. Typically, there's not a need to replace an inline water filter, but for some reason he wants it replaced. Let's take a look. All right, first things first. Well, there is his pressure tank and no one's home so that's a way to cut the power off to it and that is uh that's the inline filter so i can understand why he wants it replaced it looks like it's been leaking and if we take a uh, closer look at it the bracket itself has kind of deteriorated away so yeah I don't know who did this work, but it is not up to par for my standards. So we are going to change a few things around here. My recommendation would be to actually mount the filter on the block wall to make it permanent and to make it solid so something like this doesn't happen in the future. Okay, let's get to work. Open up that, uh, that metal switch cover right there, lift it up and it should lock. Yeah, now jerk that uh, T-handle thing out. Perfect, now set it on top of it. All right, so now nothing bad can happen. bigger yes all right so in these uh you'll have these in hex head 516s hex head make sure you give me a hex head that fits that damn it can't get it right the first time all the time so we are going to cut this here whoa still, still a little bit of pressure cut that off And we'll cut it on this side as well. Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't really strip that one out. Whoa, that just broke the other side. Alright. Look at how nasty that was. That's gross. Drill. It looks so much better compared to the crap that they had before. All right, now that's mounted. We're going to take the blue pipe that's up top and we're going to connect it down below and put a valve in there.
this piece here. We're gonna cut it right here. It smells a little funky under here from all the wetness. I agree. I agree. Okay. Push. Okay, now that's on. All we're gonna do is tighten it. Um uh, wrench behind you. Beautiful. Now we gotta do is cut it here and put another valve here. But I think we're gonna need. Two more clamps. Yeah, we're gonna need two more clamps. There we go. Okay. So now that the power's back on, we look at our gauge. Gauge is slowly climbing. Come over here to this valve. We'll turn this one on. Okay. We'll go turn this one on. That filled up the canister. We'll press the release button on top, get rid of the air. Okay, got rid of the air. Now we can energize the house. And we're good to go. Take our filter wrench and hang it there so it doesn't get lost. All right. Okay, well the system is complete. And it looks a whole lot better than what it did. All we did was just tie it in right there, mounted it to the wall, and then let it continue on. So much better than just having it dangle from the ceiling. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next time. Peace.